Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, I'm making my version of stuffed jalapenos. These aren't quite like jalapeno poppers because they're better. They're filled with a sausage pork mixture and some salsa and some other super yummy stuff. They are great, and I love them. And let's get started because I love jalapenos. First thing you need is some big ol' jalapenos. Just kidding, I know it's pronounced jalapenos. So I like to get these big ones um, just because they're easier to fill. So we're gonna cut them in half lengthwise and keep the stem on there because it looks kind of cute. And then we need to remove the seeds and the membranes. So use the tip of your knife to kind of go around, up one side, across, and then around the other way. And just cut through those membranes. And then we're gonna use a little spoon to sort of pop that out of there. So there, doop, doop. a little cleaned out shell. So this is the most tedious part. I'm gonna go ahead and do these. If you don't like hot food, you can totally use the same recipe with those little miniature sweet bell peppers too. So it's pretty versatile. Or you could use the filling to stuff a big bell pepper and serve it for an entree instead of an appetizer. And if you have sensitive skin, you might want to wear gloves while you're messing with these peppers because the oils can kind of irritate your skin a little bit. But make sure to um, wash your hands after you handle them too with lots of soap to get those oils off of there so that you don't accidentally touch your eyes or your butthole with pepper fingers because that hurts, guys. And girls. <laughs> Once you got your peppers all shelled out, we'll make our filling. So in this bowl, I've got some lean ground pork and some just jarred salsa. You can use whatever kind of salsa you like. And I'm gonna add some green onions, garlic, and cilantro. You could simplify this a little bit maybe and use like a pre-made sausage, but um, it might be a little bit too fatty. So I've got a lean pork here because I don't really want, um, want these to be super greasy. Mix that up together. And then in this bowl, I've got some bulgur wheat. And this is the same thing that's used to make tabbouleh. It's um, wheat grains that have been sort of steamed or boiled and then dried and then broken up into tiny pieces. So they cook really fast because they've already sort of been cooked once before. So I'm gonna add some of that in there. You could use couscous also, but this has a really nice chewy, nutty texture. And then uh, my spices are paprika and oregano and a little bit of salt. This is gonna vary how much you need. It's gonna vary a little bit based on what salsa you're using. So give your salsa a taste and if it's well seasoned and salty, you might not need to add very much salt. And we just wanna mix this together until it's really smooth. It's not exactly gonna be smooth, but you know what I mean, like really well incorporated. Okay. So that looks good. Now we're just gonna stuff the peppers. I've got, I'm gonna use a baking sheet that just lining with a little bit of parchment paper just so that when I sprinkle cheese everywhere, it doesn't get all over the baking sheet. It doesn't, you know, you don't have to use parchment paper. It's not crucial. You just stuff each pepper with maybe a tablespoon or so of the filling. Kind of pack it in there. Get it all the way down to the bottom. Once they're all stuffed, we're gonna sprinkle each of them with a little bit of cheese, maybe a teaspoon or so. And I'm using Monterey Jack, but it doesn't really matter. You can use whatever you like. Now into a 400 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes until the centers are firm and cooked. Dishes are done, man. Okay, so I'm gonna let these cool for a moment. So you'll, you'll know they're done when they're kind of like, the filling actually puffs up a little bit as that bulgur swells and absorbs the liquid from the salsa. 
it gets really damn tasty. So if you like this recipe, also check out my super easy stuffed mushrooms recipe. Uh, these would go great together on an appetizer platter or something. Um, please check out my website, highlycooking.com, for printable recipes and more tips about food and stories about stuff. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. Let's give this a taste. It's like a goddamn tornado of flavor over here. Look at that. So delicious. Oh my gosh. I hope you try this. You're gonna love it. All right. See you guys next time. Uh,